Baba Ganoush. It's mm. mm. good, guys. It's uh, it's kind of creamy. It's not so spicy. It's really good. Wow, I love it. I'm Chef Kovas and today we're going to be making one of my favorite recipes, baba ganoush. Baba ganoush is a Middle Eastern recipe and it consists of roasted eggplant, uh, garlic, lemon juice, and tahini and some spices. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking our uh, uh, eggplant and we're going to be grilling it outside. Uh, if you don't have a grill at home, you can uh, easily just take your oven and you can roast them in your oven, okay? So the, for the first part, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to peel our uh, eggplant and we're going to bring it right to the grill, okay? Alright guys, baba ganoush is very similar to hummus. It's, uh, it's like a dip where you can eat it with pita bread, uh, cucumbers, peppers, any vegetable. Um, for this recipe, I have here six um, eggplant, medium size. So if you go to the store and you buy the big ones, you're probably only going to need about three of them. And then you're going to need about five garlic cloves, kosher salt, cumin, olive oil, fresh squished lemon juice, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Before we grill this eggplant, I want to share something with you guys. I want to show you something about the eggplant. You guys might think this is a little crazy, but it's, it's actually true, okay? You see this eggplant right here, how the, the end part is round? That means this eggplant is male, and this one with a pointy end right here is a female. There's a big difference. The male eggplant has less seeds, and the female eggplant has a lot of seeds. Which that means, like sometimes when you when you eat your baba ganoush and you think it's and you taste it and it's too spicy, that means there were there were there was a lot of the female the female eggplant being used, so that that that's why it ended up being so spicy. So when you go to the store and buy your eggplant, make sure that you try to get the ones that are like this, round on the outside, okay? So guys, a lot of people like to grill this with the skin on, but I like to peel the skin. It's a little bit easier. And when you went and when you finish cooking it, you will not have so much weight. So I think it's better like this. It'll be easier for you guys. Okay. You can also make this with a Chinese eggplant. Chinese eggplant is a little thinner and it has like a purp like a purple color to it. It's a little sunny out here today. So Chinese eggplant works fine too. This is your first time on my channel and you like uh, you would like to learn how to cook vegan meals. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that the button, little bell on the bottom there. Okay guys, the eggplant is ready now, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little piece of plastic and you're going to cover it. That way, now the eggplant is going to release a bunch of water, so you're going to let it sit here for 10 minutes, okay? Okay, you're going to take your a little pan, you're going to put it over medium heat, you're going to put about 2 tablespoons of olive oil, okay? Take your garlic, take your knife, and mash it down. What we're gonna do with this garlic is we're gonna saute it a little bit. 
so it's not that strong because remember eggplant is already a little has a little spicy kick to it okay and that's it right there guys all you want is just a little light brown you don't want to cook it too much okay so the garlic is ready and we're gonna set it aside Okay guys, the eggplant is good now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our garlic, roast the garlic, put it in a food processor. If you don't have a food processor at home, you can just use, you can use a, a fork or you can use a mashed potato. You know, it's fine. Okay, so you take your garlic, fresh lemon juice, and you're gonna take about one tablespoon of tahini paste. Tahini paste, which is actually tahini paste, is sesame, uh, sesame paste, sesame seeds. Okay. You want uh, one tablespoon tahini. You don't want to put too much because if you put too much tahini, then you you end up making a hummus. Hummus, you know. Of so your tahini. You want to give it a blend, okay? Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your eggplant. See how soft it is? Gotta make sure it's soft, really soft, okay? So when you grill it, don't turn don't turn the grill on, on high. Put it on medium heat so you don't burn the eggplant. Next you're gonna take poultry salt about half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Half a teaspoon of cumin. A lot of people like to put parsley in this. Uh, I'm not a fan, but uh, if you want, you can put some parsley and you want to put some uh, like two pinch of cayenne pepper depending on how hot you want it to be okay and then finally you're gonna add about two tablespoon of olive oil Alright, let's take a look. Let's see how it's looking. Mmm, looks so good. Alright, it's nice and smooth. So let's plate it up and give it a try. Okay. It's ready guys. This is definitely definitely one of my favorite recipes there is. Looks so good. This is really easy and simple, you know. With the little thingy right there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Put a little bit of olive oil on top. A little cayenne pepper. And if you like parsley, you can put a little parsley, okay? And that's it, that's ready. Let's give it a try now. All right, guys, let's give it a try, see how it tastes. Like it with a little pita bread. Baba ganoush. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
It's good, guy. It's uh, it's kind of creamy. It's not so spicy. It's really good. Wow, I love it. That's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy your baba ganoush. If you have any question, uh, leave it down below. I'll get back at you. And uh, have a blessed day. Thank you very much. And I will see you next time.